taking a little garden tour here after the afternoon of Saturday. Um, so while I was at Target today with Abigail, uh, I picked up myself a little uh, harvest bag and I'll show it to you. But first of all, I want to just introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Susan. And I bring all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, home decor, and so much more. And lately, the so much more has been all about our backyard gardening. So I'm going to take you on a little um, afternoon garden tour here and show you what we've got. A lot has happened in the garden over one week. I'm just amazed at how much growth we have. Um, anyway, I'm going to show, turn the camera around. I'm going to show you um, my little uh, harvest bag that I picked up today. And we're gonna get started in this garden tour. So this is my little harvest bag. I'm calling it my harvest bag. I found this at Target today while I was out shopping with Abigail for school uh, clothes. Um, it was five dollars in the Target uh, dollar section. It's huge. I mean it is huge inside there and this little thing right here is more or less like a little drawstring which I won't use that to pull it tight. Um, I just kind of tucked it down in there like that. But yeah, that's my little, uh, it's raining here in South Carolina. So anyway, well, the water on the table is from when we just watered the lawn. So yeah, or in the garden. But here, let's get started. Uh, I've already, um, I'll show you the deck up front when I get back around that way. But here are just from yesterday. I mean, I didn't have this there yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, this garden, look at that. And I took one of these peppers tonight. I'm making uh, spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. And I chopped up a half of one of those peppers, which is a habanero peppers, to throw in the sauce, which we like our stuff spicy. Look at how fast, since, I mean, I put posted pictures yesterday on Facebook, you didn't see that, but these peppers here were not that large. Look at that. And I've got, over here, I've got one, two, three, four, four of the jalapenos right there. And then this one right here is the hot burrito pepper. See that right there? We've got two of those hanging in right there. Sunflowers are coming through. It's really starting to rain here a lot. And then this here is my sweet banana pepper. They finally started to produce. Oh. Yeah, I dropped my phone. I don't have my selfie stick out here today, but look, they're finally producing my banana peppers. All right, I've got to speed this process up because it's starting to rain harder. Okay, we're going to go right over here because I've already looked over here at the tomatoes and I've got some tomatoes that I need to harvest. Uh, little cherry tomatoes, but look at this. Look, oh, here are my little cherry tomatoes I'm gonna harvest right now and put in my harvest basket that I just purchased myself at Target today. But look, can you see, hold on, look at that. There are so many, holy Toledo. Look at that, those are my Harlem tomatoes as well as that. Scotty's saying, and mom, we should make some green fried tomatoes. Well, I'm kind of on the same page as him. I'm thinking about it. Because I've got all those, all those. Oh my God, it's raining harder. Got those right there. These are, these tomatoes are called little Napoleon tomatoes. Look at them. They got that little shape to them. All right, I'm gonna hurry up here. It's really starting to rain harder. <sighs> See, that's my little basket. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. All right, look at that, that. I mean, we've got so many of those. There's two of them right back in there. And then my lavender is doing really good. I kind of trend it back just a little bit. Look how much my okra has grown since yesterday. And then my little squash here. I say little, it's a big one, it's a big one. Which one is that anyway? Cause I need to figure out, this is, uh, I don't know guys. I don't know if that's cucumber or squash now. Cause this little sign, 
says cucumber, but I think it's a spaghetti squash. The root of it, if I follow it, which I'm following now, is going to be right here. Okay. That's what I thought. Spaghetti squash. Woohoo! Yes, spaghetti squash. We love spaghetti squash. And these are, okay, let's see. Actually, let's see, where is this tied to? That one's gonna be, oh gosh, I'm not quite sure where. Keep going. It's definitely not the gooseneck squash. Nope, that's not it. Because I've got those, that's what that is right here. And I've already harvested something there. And look, there it is right there. It's coming in very nicely. I'm gonna have lots over there. Ooh. Oh, this grandma's back it doesn't take bending down very well. Look at my eggplant. And my eggplant. And my other eggplant. And I'm gonna have more eggplant there. It's coming very nicely. My kale. And I'm gonna wrap this up out on this side. I'm gonna go on the deck now because it's starting to rain pretty hard. But oh my gosh, I just saw this. More, look at that. Look at that. How exciting. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, I've grown a garden in my lifetime before, but it's been since the kids were like really, really young. And this is zucchini squash. So we should see that, which is all this right here. Um, but it has been, and I did good at that garden too, but I remember on that garden, I put in a lot of miracle Grow. I did a lot of added stuff and where I'm not doing that now. I'm doing natural fertilizing um, and stuff. So, all right, we're just gonna walk. Oh my God, I love my little bag. Isn't it just so cute? Excuse the late old lady arms, but look at that. All right, we're gonna walk over this way. My wildflowers for my bees and butterflies. Look at that. It's all coming in so nicely. Over here. So yesterday I had Scott move all the roses from the back part of the property to the front, back up to the front because the June bugs. Look, my gardenias are coming in. I planted them in this pot. And anyway, look, because the bugs, the June bugs were starting to eat them. So I said, put, bring them to the front because I got to get a handle on this. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've got to get that little uh, cucumber in the ground. A neighbor gave me that. A neighbor gave me that. I don't know what it is. If anybody can tell what that is from looking at this video, please let me know in the comments below. This and this one is the two little rose roots that I bought off Amazon. They are doing amazing. I'm so happy, so proud of those two. Um, Cause that's a cheap way to start your roses. All right, I'm gonna make it really quick out here. I'm not gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna show you our peaches. Look at them. Oh my goodness, can't wait. Cannot wait till we can slice one of those babies up and eat it. And then I looked at, our, and I can't remember if this one is the lime or the lemon tree. This one just started getting some buds, but this one over here, look at that. We are gonna have something very soon, very soon. All right, just real quick, I wanna show you my little tea table out here with the lavender. It's doing really well. And I love to do this. Hold on a second, guys, sorry. You can't smell it, but it smells so good. So good. So back there, Scott and I removed the pompous grass 
and the gladiuses and we put down that we're gonna put down that little ivy right there because I think of course the ivy loves the shade so and those little plants I picked up at Walmart on the clearance rack for a dollar each so yep that's gonna take place hopefully tomorrow so we're not gonna go back there to the blueberries and raspberries because it's raining I'm underneath the tree right now I'm gonna go walk over this way. Zinnia, we're getting ready to have some new blooms there. The basil, which I harvested some out of the garden the other night for my tomato basil mozzarella. Look at how beautiful those are. That is our parsley. And then, look, we're getting ready to get some new stuff from our hydrangeas new little buds we're gonna get some flowers look at if you look closely you see that yep we need some flowers that's our mint why is it looking so sad right now it's looking sad right I'll come out here tomorrow when it's not raining and tend to these okay I picked that Gerber daisy up on the clearance rack somewhere and it doesn't look nice and healthy, but it will come back. So I told you guys that I had a lettuce planted in this area. Well, Scott came out to weed and he accidentally weeded all the lettuce. So I don't have any lettuce to harvest anytime soon. I'm gonna pull this weed up though. Yep, look, oh my God, I'm so excited. This one is already budding for blooms. Ooh, do you hear that? How exciting. Rain in South Carolina. That's more mint. That's the Gerber Daisy. And then that's that parsley I was just telling you about. And I've got a Gerber Daisy right there. So. That wind chime I picked up probably about a month ago at Hobby Lobby, I wanna say. I love it, it's very subtle. And then that is our one of our hummingbird feeders. We put one way out back, back there. That, let's see if I can, right there is a hummingbird feeder. And you see that orange bucket right there? That's outside the fence, filled with water and my collards because it stinks so bad you cannot have it near the house. And if you look way out there, past that is our compost pile in which we use to uh, plant. And that's our blueberry, a blueberry in the middle, raspberry and blackberries. And then I've got some sunflowers right there. And then right there is our fire pit which hopefully we'll be using that very soon. So in the back part of the woods back there, on a daily, daily basis, the cardinals just fly in and out of there. It's so beautiful. And that's their little feeder, the water bath for the birds, our tea table with our lavender, which comes come the spring and the uh, probably the fall, we'll have the kids and I will have a little tea party out there. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna come back towards the front of the house. That's Scott, he doesn't know. Okay, see how nice the lawn is? The lawn is coming beautifully, but we do have, like back this way, it's a lot. I have a feeling that this grass really And it says it on the back, sun and shade. But Abby and I discovered this morning when we were watching one of my homestead videos that using hay, oops, sorry, using hay instead of actual straw, which we should have used just straw, uh, hay has uh, seeds in it, um, wheat seeds. So look. That's a lot of weeds. All right, so this is our um, I moved all these rose bushes up here. See that one? I hope we get out here tomorrow and get all this situated. 
I'd really like to start grilling out here. That's some of our compost we brought up. We use that up front in the front lawn for our gladiuses. And those right there just broke off in the bulbs. That's why they're in there. We're going to compost those. buds on there and I picked these little plants up on uh, a clearance rack and I've got a uh, green stalk on order to come and I'm going to plant those as well as some herbs in my green stalk. Like I said before I don't know what those are but if anybody knows if you can tell me they look like they're getting ready to bloom some flowers as well as that. I don't know what that is. It stayed the same size now for over a month. That we, Scott kind of let die out there. It bloomed beautiful flowers. It will come back. That is my rosemary bush. More wildflowers for my, my birds and butterflies and bees. Okay, that's it guys. Peace and love to you all, thank you. Thank you all for joining me on this Saturday afternoon for my little mini garden tour, which you can see back behind me. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you who continue to uh, tune in and listen to my videos and who like my videos and continue to share everything that I'm bringing to the channel. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and thank you again for your love and support. Peace and love to you all.